Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since my last video, so I just wanted to kind of give you an update on what's been going on with me. So I'm gonna give you five things that have happened since the last time um, I made a video. And I'm really excited to share everything that has been going on in my life. So the first thing is I went to Egypt. I know in my last video I talked about um, how excited I was about um, just going there and experiencing the history and everything and I'm going to make a video just dedicated to Egypt. I'll have a video that I took while I was there with pictures and just me explaining to you what I did and what I saw and the amazing um, company that I went with with the tour guides and everything like that. So I'm really excited to show you about Egypt, so stay tuned for that very, very soon. The second thing I wanted to talk to you about is what happened after getting back from Egypt. So obviously traveling has some issues, especially if you already have some stomach issues, which I do. So I went there and I did get sick. Um, it happens, I know it happens. I was kind of expecting it to happen. Just my health after the trip has not been that, that great. I ended up in the ER with a bladder infection. Who thought that was gonna happen? I've never had a UTI or a bladder infection or anything like that before, but I guess it happens. So I went to my rheumatologist and after, you know, going through my symptoms again and going over the lab results, I had a chest x-ray, I had a urine exam or a urine test and I had a blood test. So going over my symptoms along with the results from all of those tests, he did conclude that most likely um, I do have Crest Syndrome or what is formerly known as Crest Syndrome. So what does that mean for me? So he did put me on a blood pressure medication because my um, kidneys apparently are not functioning the way that they should at this point. They, your kidneys are there and designed to filter out things in the body and keep the good things in. However, apparently my kidneys right now are filtering out some good stuff, good protein. So he's a little concerned about that. So he did put me on a high blood pressure medication. His concern is make, just making sure they don't get any worse than they already are. Um, my next step is I'm going to go see a gastroenterologist to get an upper scope done to see how much damage there is to my esophagus and my stomach lining. I have had stomach problems since college. You don't have any issues swallowing or anything like that, which is a symptom of crust. They did put me on a uh, prescription antacid now instead of just taking a Zantac over the counter stuff. So I'm hoping that that helps. I haven't had any issues um, heartburn wise in probably a week or two. So that's, that's good. Number four is the fact that I'm raw again. So at this point it has been seven days since I uh, went raw and I feel, I feel good. It has definitely been more of a struggle this time than the last time I went uh, raw last month. I'm not sure why, but I'm sticking to it. I feel better when I'm raw. It's just this time, I don't know, I'm having more cravings and I, um, I just see things and I'm like, oh, I can only have, I can just have one bite. I'm sticking to it and I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, with time, it gets better and easier. I'm in this group on Facebook that I created with um, a close-knit group of friends that are also um, doing raw or mostly raw and that's been tremendous help. Um, I just feel like having the support and the motivation and accountability is, is huge. Fifth most exciting thing that is going on in my life right now is before I went to Egypt, I decided to try this lipstick. Somebody added me to this group on Facebook and I said, why not? I'm not a huge makeup person. I usually only wear mascara and I almost never wear um, lipstick only because I hate the fact that it comes off on everything and I have to reapply it all the time. I don't like it how it would get on teeth and yeah, I'm just, it's just too much work for me <laughs> um, to be honest. And yeah, I just, didn't, I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm going to Egypt. If this stuff says, you know, it lasts for 10 hours or 12 hours, I'm gonna need it because we're gonna be gone all day and we're gonna be out and about. So I bought two, two shades and oh my gosh, I love it. It worked so well in Egypt. I didn't have to worry about it once. The only thing I had to do was put gloss on, which felt like chapstick anyway, and Oh my gosh, yes, I love it. And the best part about it 
is it's vegan, duh. I mean, I'm vegan, I wouldn't buy anything that's cruelty involvement or any animal byproducts, so it's vegan. Um, no animal testing, duh, again. And oh my gosh, it's freaking amazing. I'm so excited that this stuff works and um, no animals were harmed in the process. So after getting home from Egypt and loving it, I said, you know what? Um, with all my health stuff that's going on, I don't really know if I wanna work in the operating room for the rest of my life. I want to be able to have the possibility of traveling or you know, going home to see my family or living by my family again. Not that I really wanna live on the East Coast, but that's where, that's where my home base is. So um, if I end up back there, you know, closer to my nephew and my grandmother, that would be, that would be okay. And uh, so yeah, I uh, t contacted a friend who is blowing this business up. All right, she's been in this business for 10 weeks and she is killing it. So I contacted her and I joined her team. So I'm now a distributor for LipSense. Um, it's kind of like an up, and, well, it's been around for 18 freaking years, but it has in the past four months blown, and, like blown up. It's like crazy how fast this business is booming right now. Everything's out of stock and you know, it's just insane. So I'm really excited to offer the this beautiful lipstick to all of these beautiful women who like to wear makeup and it's vegan. Hello, amazing. That's my five things. And I just really wanted to share, um, yeah, what's going on with you guys because I feel like I know I'm new here and I don't have that many followers, but I feel like having this camera in front of me and, and having people, even if they're watching two minutes of my stuff, I want to feel like somebody's holding me accountable and I want to share my story. If somebody else is with an autoimmune disor disorder, you know, pops on and sees my video, I want them to know that they're not alone. I want them to know that there are other options besides taking a whole bunch of medication because that is not what I want to have for my life. There is positive things that you can take out of even the negative because this month has kind of sucked except for, you know, being raw again. I just totally killed half of a watermelon. I'm finishing this up now. Probably gonna have the other half for my lunch. And yeah, I just feel so good. And I cannot wait to see what the, the future holds. And I really hope that you follow me and um, yeah, just see where my life is going. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me anytime. Um, I'm still holding uh, protests here and I'm going to protest all the time. And I just had a protest last week, which I will um, update you all about. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos about protesting or living a vegan lifestyle, going raw, what I eat in a day, how you know autoimmune disorders affect your body. If you want to see any of that type of stuff, um, hit the little red subscribe button and I will talk to you all soon.